Lack of jobs in the country has seen so many Kenyans falling prey to conmen masquerading as job recruiting agents. We spoke to some of the people who have fallen prey to these people and this is their story. Nairobi. All is calm as people go about their business, pushing the wheel of economy. But at the corner of Kemathi Street, we meet this group of people. Theirs is an untold story of how they have lost money in hundreds of thousands to a woman masquerading as a recruiting agent with promises that she would secure them jobs in Canada. Though Pauline Jerry was arrested on Tuesday by detectives from the Industrial Area Police Station, the more than 100 victims are still coming to terms with their laws. Kamuliza kazi ni gani? Akasema ni aircraft cleaner. Nini kasema ni poa ni taripa hizo pesa. The first time she told me I'll be a storekeeper. Then after some time she told me I'll be an assistant nurse. Jerry was arraigned at Makadara court yesterday where she was charged with seven counts of obtaining money by false pretense and defrauding unsuspecting Kenyans. She was released on a 600,000 shillings cash bill. The victims narrated to us how they were asked to pay for registration and for visa. I was paid 415,000, which I knew I could service it while in Canada. Mama yangu ni yadi ni chukulia hiyo loni ya 20, hizo zingine 200, halikuanga nazo wakantolea. They were all told to deposit the cash to different bank accounts, perhaps to avoid suspicion. Later, they were given documents to show that their visas were being processed. The waiting began. When Vincent Ayeni started querying when he would be leaving for Canada, he was told to pack his belongings and get ready to leave the following day. Armed only with his passport, he informed his family and friends, and they all came from up country, ready to see him off at the JKIA. What one was shot at Nyumbani, Nimehaya Gari, Nimefa, Mizigoyango, Kiro, the Ravini, Nikonayo, Mango, Nanini. Hata kaniambia vya tusingine isi usifae, nunua isi, kanunua, kumpigia, the phone went off. We spoke to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, America and Canada Division, who recorded statements from the victims. We are not aware of any jobs in Canada. They could be, I'm not saying they are not there, but we have not dealt with any Kenyans going for jobs in Canada through the recruitment agents. According to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Director, America's Division, Nyambura Kamau, Kenyans have a right to walk into the ministry's office to confirm if any job they've been offered in the diaspora are genuine or not. Kenyans have also been urged to make sure that before they pay any money to any recruiting agents to verify with the Ministry of Trade if the agencies have been registered. What they are doing if you are not accredited by the Ministry of Labor? and you're doing recruitment, then you're obtaining money by false pretense. For now, Ericsson and his group will have to wait for the court's judgment on how they will recover their money. The case will be heard on the 11th of September. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.